you, Tana. Um, yeah, nice progress here. Um, so I, I just wanted to ask you if you've been, um, if you've had a chance to view my past feedbacks, just because I, I don't, I'm not seeing um, any suggestions incorporated. So I always have to ask that because um, it's really important to incorporate um, the suggestions. Um, you know, and they're pretty much designed to help. Um, you know, with to help you create, a, you know, a more successful. Um, portfolio piece. So I see kind of what's going on with the background, though um, it's really hard to see a lot of these elements um, on, you know, over the complicated visual. Um, you know, that's just a really common thing, um, you know, in design when, um, you know, you need contrast and, and um, objects over, you know, um, you know, images over images tend to be kind of tough. You may want to um, read my announcement. It's um, it's under here under um, um, creating legible text, info and resources um, on creating um, legible text. So if you, um, it just kind of goes over some of the main issues in design. And this is kind of what you have with um, your image. It's, you know, you can't really see it because it's, it's the background is too complicated. And you can see with the text too, how this is, it's really hard to read when there's not enough contrast. Um, so you, yeah, you just might want to have, have, you know, have a look at that. I didn't see your text. Um, that's really important to get in there too, because, um, it, well, it's part of the assignment, but, um, you just want, want to be able to get some feedback on it. So, um, in regards to this background, um, I'm just trying to think of what, um, cause it stands out pretty good. Um, you know, with on white. So I wonder if you made the background lighter, if that would help it at all. Um, you know, you have a lot of negative space in here, so you could probably put your text, but I, but you know, I really would suggest maybe looking for a different background um, as well. Um, so, and, and you know, basically what I said before um, in my feedback was, um, you know, it's a little bit unclear what, what you're doing because, um, uh, you know, the computer thing, you know, the pen, the, the pen and the rubber band really don't fit in. So, you know, you know, so, so it becomes a little bit of a prop problem for the viewer trying to figure out what you're doing. Um, so I'm just wondering if you, another thing you could maybe think of doing too is, um, is just zooming in a little bit more. Um, so I'm just going to make this bigger because then it'll get rid of a lot of the complicated, um, yeah, just trying to, trying to get it to, yeah, because I know you want it on this wire. Let's see, what about going up on it? Yeah, it's just slightly, it's just a little bit problematic with um, the background. I mean, you can see when it's on light, it can, it, it's, you know, it reads really well. It's just that when it's over all the, all these forms in the background, just really hard to see. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to even uh, transform, I'm not going to do anything with it. So another thing I would suggest, too, is um, making your caricature bigger. Um, it's just, uh, I'm going to put all your, all your full, um, things in one, um, group so I can move it. Um, and then maybe if you, it's a little bit more viewable, but see all these, all these posts and everything are kind of a problem. And you can't really see the cable um, well enough to, you know, to really see what's going on with it. Um, where's the pen? Dun, 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 dun. Is that it right there? Nope. Um, I'm just going to rotate this a little bit because, um, I mean, I see what you're trying to do with it, but um, it's... Trying to move it down here. Anyway, so I'm just trying to work with your images because, you know, I mean, truly, if this was my piece, I would look for other images. 
I would try to find, um, you know, a, a phone graphic that showed some, so, you know, um, a side, you know, like more than just the straight on side, kind of like, let me find, <clears throat> you know, something like this. It's not, it's pretty flat, but again, you can see this side. So it looks more interesting and it has some perspective. You know, you can see how the back wheel is smaller. And again, um, need some text. This is, and, and you can see how this really stands out good on the background. Um, you know, same here. It's, you know, you just want something with negative space, which means just kind of simplicity, not much in it. So it really allows your caricature to stand out. It's more about the caricature than the background. So you might want to spend some time looking for other backgrounds, but I would also suggest spending a little bit more time and getting some, some images that are, are more what the client wants. But again, of course it's your choice, but, um, but you know, and, and yeah, and I'm not sure if you viewed my feedback. So I've been trying to um, encourage you to do that for, for some time. So, and again, um, so, you know, going back to what I just showed you, um, another suggestion is when you do add your text, put each word on a different layer and then you'll be able to move it around, you know, move it around and, you know, size it and style it and do all that stuff. Another suggestion then um, is to go to this, this, this default site and there's so many, um, there's so many fonts. So you can really, you know, you can really you know, start to look at these. I mean, look at this one's got 70 pages of fonts here. So it can, you know, you can spend quite a bit, you know, but just, I wouldn't ever use something like this that's not legible. But again, there's just tons of fonts. Like these, these aren't really legible. Um, this has some cool ones. You know, that's a pretty cool font. And, and, you know, you can use more than one font. You don't have to use the same um, you know, the words can be different. You can use different fonts for each letter. You know, the idea is just to really be creative with this. And again, this has 22 pages. So there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, now these are dingbats, but those are actually kind of cool. Um, some of these graffiti fonts are really cool too. Just again, make sure they're legible. Um, so yeah, um, feel free to grab me on Google Hangouts because I'm more than happy to give you some help and feedback. Um, but as it stands now, the background is kind of a problem. Um, you know, another thing you could do too is you can go, I, I mean, I know I've already showed you this probably a hundred times, but um, you know, you can go to Google Image Search. Um, and if you're searching for a background, you can do something like, um, you know, urban background. And if you put in words like um, background or wallpaper, you're going to get bigger file sizes, which is really, oh, I spelled that wrong too, didn't I? Ugh. Oh, I'm in Google Voice. God, I'm an idiot. Jesus Christ, sorry. So images, and then I can, you know, even something, well, this has some negative space in the foreground, but again, just really look, um, you know, something like this is simpler, but again, your, your um, caricature is pretty dark, right? Let's see. It's pretty dark, so you'd probably want to go with a lighter one. Um, I mean... Something like, oh no, is that a photograph? No, it looks like a drawing. Um, but you know, just just look because it's not that hard to, you know, and even something like this is is lighter, but again, this can't tell if that's a 3D um, mock-up. Um, I mean, this almost looks like yours um, a little bit. But again, just spend spend a good amount of time because it, it's actually a really really important part of this, um, you know, this assignment and this caricature. Um, you know, I mean, other things you could try too is you can try doing some levels, um, you know, different kinds of adjustments to to bring down or up the um, intensity. So we can let's just try levels. Yes, yeah, so you don't want it darker because um, your caricature is really dark. I 
I mean, I don't know. It really kind of washes it out when you, um, you know, it's just not meant to, it's only meant to do. I mean, you can see even with this, it, it, it shows up a little bit more, even though now it just looks really washed out. The better thing to do would just be to find another background that has, you know, more negative space. Um, even this one would probably even work to some degree because um, you could probably mute, mute it a little bit. Um, um, but do other keyword searches because um, I'm just going to say city background. Because background kind of implies that it's 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 not like about an image. I mean, this is a cool one, but it's dark. Um, something like this that was light. Um, yeah, it's just no, that's that same one. So anyway, you know what I'm saying, and you know I'm just trying to um, something like this might be able to work. But again, you have to get a big enough one. If it's too small, you can't use it at all. So. Um, you know, um, again, just important to find something. This is just a drawing, but yeah, you can't use anything from Shutterstock or anything that has like a, a watermark in it. Um, you know, or you can just go outside and photograph your street too. I mean, that's another option too, because then you can, um, you know, you just have more control when you do it yourself, right? Anyway, so um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. Grab me on, um, you know, on um, Hangouts. I'm really available. You know, I'm around a lot. I'm going to try one more thing with this brightness and contrast. Um, yeah, the problem is, is it just looks too washed out. See how you're, you're losing all the detail when you start to do these? So I'm going to turn it off. Um, Okay, so yeah, just let me know um, it, what what you need help with, or just grab me, and I can I can you know try to help you work through this so you can um, you know get a, have a decent portfolio piece, and also probably you're concerned about your grade as well. So um, it all kinds of work works hand in hand. Um, but you know, I mean, for the last week, I would I would really suggest giving yourself more time with this, just because um, you're probably really crunched for time because I, I know that you, you know, you miss the deadlines quite a bit. Um, and I fully understand because I'm, I'm busy myself and also was when I was in college, but it does take some time to do this. And, you know, all these, um, um, you know, these examples that I show, I show you, these students spend a lot of time doing this. Um, and you can see how, you know, how it really works. This is kind of a simplish background. Um, and again, this grayscale one, but again, it's got enough detail and contrast. Um, so again, you know, look through these examples. I posted some, also some up, um, you know, in the, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, whoops, shoot. Um, I posted some stuff up here to the examples of student work and then also my comments that should really help too um, and um, this if you haven't viewed it um, I would highly suggest viewing it because it really goes over stuff that doesn't work um, and it talks about creating a background another very important thing is to look at the rubrics I post every week um, because this shows you exactly what you, you lose points on and it also shows, shows you exactly what's expected. So um, again, if you, if you want to revise any of your past assignments, I would totally have a look at this. It's also in the gradebook, so I would suggest looking in the gradebook as to why you lost points. Um, okay, so anyway, um, yeah, just let me know if you have questions and I'll let you go. Um, yeah, so um, good progress, just needs some work.